All right. How's everyone doing today? Back with some more last epoch with Herman the Traveler and some Primalist. Probably gonna go uh, some Shaman. Um, yeah. So we collected some epoch shards yesterday and got teleported to the crumbling ruins. Completely different era from where we were in. And now we're in some in with some void. We have to find uh Trying to find uh, what's his bucket what that has is this took the shards and, and teleported us here. We are in pain. Heal the tree. Um, let's see. I can't remember what I wanted to grab. I was just going to do more attunement. What was the plan? Hmm. You. Yes, you. Why are you here? ask you the same thing. Don't play dumb. Only rangers and elders are allowed out here. Everyone knows that. Still, you don't look like a cultist. And that's because I'm not. The way Void leeches off them. Hmm. My scrying runes would be going off the second I saw you. That's not to say there aren't any cultists nearby, so let's both be careful. Come, I'll take you back to Last Refuge. Void, what are you talking about? Are you well in the head? Look around you. Dark tar that consumes everything around us, the void. Last Refuge is the only place to steer clear of it. If you're not from there, then let's hope our elders don't find any corruption to pun you. Hang on a second. Didn't think you guys would hear that. Alright. You know, I should probably look at Tempest, right? Um, to figure out if uh, it's worth specking into. Because um, I don't see, like, I don't know how else to create storm stacks. Obviously, this can use storm stacks, but if I'm not um, creating storm stacks, then that's a problem. Yeah, I'm just not quite sure. Yeah, see this one, Jerry, more storm stacks. Huh. I don't really, I mean, I guess I'll maelstrom in a couple levels, which I'm gonna put points into. 
It's too bad because they have the uh, updated. I don't mean to do that. The updated Tempest Strike. Hmm. Could could switch between them. We'll we'll see. Obviously, I think Tempest Strike will end up um, kind of leaning more more into the the spellcasting side of a like a melee spellcaster hybrid, whereas Tempest Strike is, still keeps it kind of neutral. Your your aunt is still going to do some damage. I mean, it kind of feels like my aunt hit doesn't. It's the, the lightning in the wolf that did the damage. Alright. Tara, watch over you. You there. I do not recognize you. A guard sent me. I come from outside. Hey, Riley. How's it going? Bill, you have a presence about you, as if... Hmm. Do you have a shard on you? It's a long story. I'm protecting it. Protecting it? We need it to protect us. I will get to the bottom of how and why you have it later. What's important is that we present this to the Council immediately. Whether our wards have fallen by a shard misplaced, or you're simply the port hold holder we've heard so much about, we must find out. Why don't you take it to him? Well, I'm in no shape to go back there. I I do not want to face Void along the way. Anyway, enough talk. Get to the council chambers at once. Gods. Alright. You like their art. Their little loading screens. We've we've looked at a lot of loading screens the last couple of days. Trust me. Yes. You there? If you're not fighting off the void, you need to go back to the surface. Last refuge is failing. I need to get to the council chambers. What? But the council chambers are at the city center. I must do this, please. Very well. Since you're heading out, I grow worried that Elder Ur Urza is trapped inside. If you find him, try taking him with you. He's persistent, but overestimates himself. Gods be with you. I'm sorry, the leaf is too good of a mobility skill. Minimus, run you stupid one. Leave me. You. You fought them off. It's too late for me, but there are others trapped in the outskirts. Please, help them evacuate the council chambers. Thank you. Look and the rest of my regiment are trapped just past the bridge ahead. We tried to save Grund, but he's still defending his damn beasts. Elder Mossburn was escorting a group as well, but they got separated from us. Once you found them, find Captain Leora in the council chambers. As for me, Captain Braven will take care of it. Minimus, even if he has to drag them out away from my body. The wolf's still here fighting, no problem. Mm. Usually goes south, kind of I don't know if it makes a difference, but. Let's see. Any good upgrades? Probably not. Hmm. Attack speed. I mean, those are just going to be an upgrade no matter what, but... Same with the bell. I have... some legendaries that I should probably... Well, I mean, they're not any good for build, but I do have some legendaries that I found another character. I think I can use it as well. Or use it as well.
so we're getting held awesome basically. Alright. Yeah, I think I need to level this up. That'll be nice. Chance to just generate one instead of expending one. Um, I think I might want to go cold. I don't know, there's a lot of nodes here. I'm not really sure what direction I want to go with it. Gods be with you. Boy, he's tearing last refuge apart. They tried fleeing, but all this destruction has turned this place into ruins. I've doomed the people who trusted me to lead them out. I've cleared a path. Flee! What? You have my thanks. Quickly, let's leave this place. Stay safe. And I think. Let's do that. I think I can just circle around from here. I feel like I've done this enough to have actually figured out the best path to go, but I never did. there. I don't know who you are, but I see you can fight. Get to the council chambers and ask for aid as soon as you can. I'm here to relay orders to evacuate. Get out of here. Farewell. Blessing. Because I think I have to have it on my. I guess I don't have to have it on my bars. It's been proccing, so I just couldn't get myself then. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you want to go from the chair? Come on. Um, there's the healing one. That's the chill. Just 
reduces stacks to one. Actually, this might, I, yeah, that's perfect, actually. I think that's the direction I want to go. Oh, those would be nice, too. Because there's ones where, like, procs on, um, procs on kill. Yeah, these guys. Hang on a second. Um, sorry. I need to, I need to, there we go. All right. I like that they added some idle animations to the wolf, though. Just around. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go this direction. Get the heal. But I think... We want the duration increase to start. And we're gonna have attunement, so hopefully the increased damage will actually make a difference. Let's go points in that. Actually, I think I can show it to you here. Keep getting smacked by bats. So avalanche. Um, we may just make it so it's just a storm around us. And uh, yeah, I'll make a circle. Second. I need a mod, I swear. I don't know why bots come in. I don't know why bots come in. I don't have anything better to do. I mean, I guess they're not, so they wouldn't have anything better to do. It's just what they're programmed to do. Ooh. I mean, <laughs> it's better than the gray I'm wearing. What brings you here? What are these creatures? They're slaughtering my beasts and driving them mad. I cleared a path. Get out of here. Terra's grace be with you. All right, I got all the people that were stuck. Now we can actually hit the council chambers. These guys are really annoying. These little uh, dinosaur looking things, because once you actually kill them, they just become void presents. Oh, 
all the Ezra. Keep them everything. off me. Only a little longer. I feel like that war crime puts on this big boxes. So my other character I've been playing is a paladin, and I'm trying out the new healing stuff for, um, what's it called? Healing touch, I think it is. Um, and it, just the amount of healing is actually insane. So it always feels weird when I watch my health drop like that. It's usually it fills right back up. I really like the artwork for the some of the loading screens. I guess I haven't found one that I don't like. Uh, this is the longest one I've had today, so. Not a good sign yet. That's true. They do give you a long time. That, that's what it is. That's the long loading screen. It's just they want you to look at the artwork. Well, I could mostly fix these, but. I guess not. I'll give it like another 30 seconds, and if it doesn't load, I guess I have to spend 20 minutes quitting and restarting. Not really, but it does take a while. I'll get it eventually. <laughs> no, iron out the bugs. Tough for it is. All right. Well, it takes a second to come back up, so I uh, will be right back.
You've probably heard it. It literally does take that long. I don't know why it moves so slow. Hopefully it doesn't catch here, because it did that to me earlier a couple times, where it didn't load the character. It's very frustrating, but, you know, we do what we can. Thank you. Please don't hang up here. Come on. Just got Maelstrom. We were cruising. We were helping Elder Ezra. Here's a... Well. Let's try it again. And it's killed. Maybe. Uh, I was, I was so hoping, like, oh, four days, all these bugs would be ironed out, but, you know, they happen. I'm not going to get upset about it, but it is frustrating. Now we wait. We just start hell divers. Um, I don't have, like, Hearthstone or anything to, like, play while I'm waiting, because it does take so long to boot. I have anything that's just a quick load? I don't think so. really should have something like that. It's just literally sits in the background, doesn't take any resources, pauses when, you know, you're not playing. Some sort of uh, roguelike game. <laughs> Space Cadet. Is that... You talking about Space Wing Cadet? Or is there an actual game called Space Cadet that I don't know about? Oh. We've got a we've got a title screen at least. I swear this is on a solid state too. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. I know what you're talking about. Maybe that was called it. Yeah. Pinball. I just bring, I can just bring up old school Minesweeper. Oh, that'd be funny. Oh. Getting there. Maybe. Eleventh time is the charm. Please? Come on. You can do it. I believe in you. I don't know why. So they actually had a, um, well, they had a post, um, that they were doing some back end stuff to try to fix it hanging up on the character select screen and doing this connecting thing. 
and I think they said something about the post, I don't know, three hours ago or so at this point. I had never had that problem before I read that post, and now it's a problem. So I don't know what they're doing, but it hasn't worked. It's just made it worse. Because it, it shouldn't... I don't think waiting helps that. I think if it doesn't actually connect, it just sits there and spins. So I will try again and see how it goes. I kind of wanted to finish Act 2, but we might be SOL, which would be unfortunate. I don't know why it's this time of day that it seems to have the most trouble. Let's see. Discussions. Server status. Yeah, so... Less than three hours ago, we were deploying a back-end fix aimed at solving some of the connecting issues seen in character select and long transition times when loading into towns. This fix is not expected to cause any service disruptions. Literally never experienced that until now. And it might just be that character, because I just haven't experienced it on my Paladin. So, well... Try again. Let's see. See if it goes. So when I uh, was starting earlier, it was I think the third, third attempt at login um, was when it started working again. So maybe. It's trying to boot. Steam seems to think it's booting. Yeah, you're probably right. And then that's that's what I'm I'm hitting is the trying to load the instant zones where there's more people. Which is why towns were such an issue to load uh, to load into as well, just because you have other people already in the instance. So, which I mean, I respect that decision. Like, yeah, being able to see other uh, other players in in the town zones, but I don't know. I remember in, in Path of Exile trying to load, I can't remember what it's called, the, the last actual um, town that you go to, besides you know, your own base or anything, your map room, but the act, last actual town. And all those people there, it wouldn't necessarily lag out the game, but it definitely seemed to struggle to load things because they were there. That's true. You got cosmetics. You got to show them off. All right, come on. Fingers crossed. Let's go. Let's connect. Please. Yeah, I'm going to... You know what? Uh, just just for the heck of it, I'm gonna try to load my other character. I'm gonna have to come back to her. I'm gonna do do some uh, do some maps or maps. Uh, Path of Exile on the brain now. Um, some monoliths. So I am currently trying to get what's that? There's a two-handed sword unique that I'm trying to get to try. I'm doing, it's kind of like a, a proc paladin with ignite. I know a two-handed isn't going to stack ignite how I want, but I want to have it for playing by myself and then playing with others. I can go to 
a one-hander or even there's some gloves that make it so judgment scales attunement um as long as you're unarmed but you can still use a shield with unarmed i'm pretty sure so run around with a shield that increases fire damage the marophage yeah the marophage um that's the one when you shatter other two-handed swords it can absorb the shards right instead of going to your inventory i think right that's that one Yeah. I can't remember what this one is called. Let's see, where's the book? Let's see if I can find it real quick. Oh, oh. That one's not going to have it. Let's see if we can just bring up the last epoch tools on my phone. I bet that site is blowing up. All right. Equipment. Turn off basic and set. Two-handed sword. Volcanus. So that's melee fire damage and spell fire damage, increased fire damage, fire damage leech, and then 10% chance to cast magma shards on melee hit, which is just another fire proc. Because I, when I swing, you proc the new healing hands um, and proc some other like damage divine bolts. So I'm just going to do a melee swing and swing really fast just have a whole bunch of effects happen. It's the plan anyway. It seems to be working so far. I mean, just having healing hands just proc in an AoE around me when on melee hit is, uh, is really nice. Let me see that. Yeah, no problem. I mean, I mean, you're right. It is just the lower levels. It just doesn't want to in sensor or load. So I guess I'll do some monoliths. We'll just have to come back to her. Man. Which is weird because, you know, load loaded in end of time, which I mean, there's people here. It's other people that should have given... Well, that's not... I don't know. I don't know what's going on. They're just still having issues. I mean, this is getting better, but... Lose stability. That's strange. I definitely was able to complete that before. Oh. Give more arena keys. So, the way the monoliths work, um, they're going to have bonuses to your it's drops and rarity and they'll have a certain number of echoes that you complete that it'll last for and that of course you know you want ones that will stack multiple echoes and then you layer them and then you get more and better stuff uh, they also when you complete them they drop something particular so this one um, I can't look at it right now, but it's going to drop arena keys along with some gear. 
because you usually want to slay a certain number of enemies and then uh and a boss. Uh, right, really chopped here. Yeah, see just a whole bunch of rocks and explosions. Yeah, so I had to kill some enemies, and now is where the uh, boss actually shows up. And then, of course, you want to fill up this little bar down here by killing more enemies to increase stability in the timeline. So now was, you're basically going through fixing the timeline. Yeah, like I was saying with the, the health earlier, I'm just either at full or approaching full all the time. So you'll probably see where I take a hit or something. It heals uh, back up on the new only as long as I'm not hitting things myself. Trying to make it so I'm a little bit tankier, so I don't even take hits that day. But I know it doesn't matter. So that scorpion thing was the boss, and it is now coming. Now I just need to fill up this bar. I also like to look at these, but. Stand down. Somebody over here is spawning things. Alright. Um ooh. Got that. Idols are always interesting. Well, not always interesting, but Sometimes there's some uh, effects that are worth looking at. And I guess I can take the attunement off of that. Nothing really even worth breaking down. It's a really low damage over time. So you can take items and shatter them, and you get shards that you can then craft into other pieces of gear based on the effects that the monster has. So, like this piece of gear has attunement, which is one of the main stats. So if I shatter that, I will get shards of attunement that I can find in another piece of gear. So slow. Rush in. Rush in the dark. Almost there. You don't technically need to do this, but getting more stability to move up to the next There's tiers of timelines which have different uh, level difficulties. So you want more stability so you can there faster and having to do more seconds for it. Alright. Stop so many things. 
Oh. And see, this is gonna pop out that key. And then this just has to be Probably nothing we want, but. Nope. Not even gonna bother. So this is the shattering process. Um, so if I throw... No. A lot of resistance. I might actually... Well, I'll do that in a second, but... I mean, I'm already over on fire, but... Equip that. So now I can show you here. So I already have my rune of shattering in. I take this, for example. So obviously the shards have different tiers on them. So because it's got low elemental resistance, it would only give me a tier one elemental resistance shard. Um, it's got, you know, middle of the road attunement, so it would give me a tier three attunement. And then armor and reduce, that's just tier two. So if I then shatter it, so it gives me those shards, and they show up in your crafting materials. So if I then take this guy, so it's um, a different rarity. So it's got, I can't remember what it's called, Exalted or something, um, the purple one. So it's going to have a bonus that is much greater. So see here, it's tier 6 for the minion melee damage and minion spell damage. So it just has more of it. So if I shatter it, it gives me a lot more of the shards. Same thing with this. It's going to have a lot more of the poison resistance. This is going to give me 22, or potentially. Okay, if I shatter that, boom. A whole bunch of poison resistance shards. Um... And then I can go put everything else in my bank. Which I need to organize as soon as I get more tabs. And you basically just go on to the next spot. So you have these, as you get your stability up, you have these quest echoes. And they're kind of just the same thing as the monoliths, but they're a little bit more tailored instead of random. Uh, and then once you complete them all, you get to fight a boss. And you stabilize that timeline. At least that's the uh, the idea behind it. Oh, actually, I leveled up. Oh, right, there's some rubber manding. Now these ones, I don't have the, uh, the bar for stability. They're not quite like the monoliths. And it's not just, you know, kill some things, you find where the boss is, and then kill the boss. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's Ooh, hello! Yeah. Thank you, lag. I want a cat. Well, that's depressing. I should have just charged away. Maybe that would have gone off faster than trying to walk. Have been a big deal. What is happening? Huh. 
So those mages, they drop experimental, which all are going to have, um, I think it's 9, 12 different effects on them. So, like, you gain ward on a traversal skill. They're not, like, the best things ever. I think they're honestly kind of boring, but um, I'm sure there's some builds that actually want to use them more. Those exalted drops, or whatever they're called, I always want to pick those up because those are always going to give more shards. Even if it's not something you necessarily want, you need to get the ground. I'm almost sure I did this earlier. I don't know why it rolled back. Stand down or kill. Hand down or die. There you are. All right, and that's that's basically it. that's what the. And then you see, like that one's checked off, and then I need to get more stability for the next quest I come. So here's what I was talking about, the player modifiers. The, it's got a 2 next to it, 5% increased item rarity, so that would last for two different monoliths, and then the 10% increased experience gained. And this one's got 10% rarity. I'm going to go for that. I'm going to stack that up, try to keep it going as long as possible. Not that it matters for these levels, because you're not going to get a lot of good stuff yet. You have that. He's doing the same, same things. Come on, I need more enemy density. Stuff. It's 
probably mostly not worth it. Increase elemental damage over time. That's something worth shattering that for. Again, Ooh, cold damage. Chatter. Chatter. Actually, it might have been worth holding on to, but I won't. Um, Chatter. After shards. Should yes. probably actually buy some more runes of shatter. That's interesting. That is not supposed to be that big. Shift right click to buy. It's like a buy now thing of an online marketplace. <laughs> All right. Take care. get this beacon done so these ones are a little bit different you'll see when we get in there we get in there yeah you know, it's, it's not supposed to be like that I don't know what's going on I mean my my little overlay map was gone I, I just thought it was a bug for a while I literally had to go in to settings to the overlay map soon and it was, you know, obviously zoomed out. I had to just click on it. I didn't move it at all, and that brought the map back. I thought it was just a bug, but, well, I guess it was a bug. Because it literally wasn't. But I don't know what that was, but... It might just be a graphical setting. Being funny. It hasn't been like that. Little explosive pools are not great. Alright, so this one, obviously, kill a couple things to show where the beacon is. Oh. Teleporting me backwards, please stop. This thing, you have to charge this. So you have to remain in the circle, which is going to be great with these explosions. And it charges up over time. And if you fight things off, all these puddles are great. I can probably heal through it, but I don't, I don't want to test it. Alright, that's it. It's charged. 
and then from there you can leave or uh oh, just gonna get the extra stability kind of hoping i just get it from fighting off the enemies there so that's not quite Exploding dogs are not the best. Dude, that- I don't know what's going on. It's like I'm getting rolled back. Or just, you know, oh, you were here a second ago, let's bring it back. That does not look like a shield, but okay. Healing effectiveness. Healing effectiveness. Alright. More attack speed. Increased fire damage. Okay. Might as well. I skipped so much gold, but. I can't be bothered to go back and pick it up. So what that does, once you finish that um, special one, so now that opened up all this. So even though I can't go to them directly, I can basically chart a path that I want to go if I want to finish stability. So, so you can see here. Um, it say yeah so the rewards so that rewards glyphs that rewards a rare piece of body armor that rewards a unique item so you that's the the little weird crystal thing you open that's where you get your unique reward and then you also get a chest for completing it with just random stuff in it so let's go ahead and break down what we got I might it's really hard to get rid of that spell damage on a staff because that extra spell damage just makes um, the healing hands. I know you can't you can't see the damage per second here, but that's the main like golden AOE you see happen when I hit something with my melee attack. Actually, how much? Hmm. This is mostly supposed to be for minions. So I lose out on the 29 fire damage, but I get percent increase to fire damage. Let me check something. So, bring this up. Divine Bolt currently does 1045. If I equip this, it's quite a substantial increase to just fire damage. Is that went to 10376? I think that's an increase there too. No, it's it's a decrease. So I'd lose out on the direct melee damage for a little bit more. Hmm. Or 
probably not worth it in the end. I think I'll just shatter it. Alright, um, shatter the shield. And I have a whole bunch of shards that I'll probably never use, but. And now we do the last quest echo for this. Enough effects, I'll take some damage. Come on, get back on the stage here. Probably shouldn't stand with those. That might be a bit much. Come on, so slow. Let's go. Seems to be voices coming from inside the mass of swirling souls. Alric, the outcast queen, and so many others. All were captured and harvested to create the abomination. You have freed us from that prison of misshapen flesh, yet still we cannot die, not bound to the will of the Empire, but still trapped here. Without bodies, there is nothing left for us but to think and ponder until our spirits fade. Tell us, should we reflect on the past we cannot change, or dream of the future we will never see? Please, there's nothing for us here. If we don't know what's around us, we'll be twisted into a scepter or a specter of torment. Oh, I can't actually remember. Maybe it doesn't matter, actually. Okay. Alright, and then we get to choose a blessing once we fix the timeline. So you can always like reconquer it to change it. Um, let's see, and they roll too, so that's like a max roll gold drop, that's a max roll increase experience, and that's a low roll for rune drop. Um, and then I can stabilize when I empower it, and when you, because you can corrupt things too. I haven't really played much with, with the actual, uh, corruption mechanic, I've never played that far, but... Uh, just to the increased experience, a little more faster. Um, 
Alright. And that's really it. I mean, it's not... It's not a super complex system. And let's see what that does. So seeing there's like level brackets. So this one's supposed to be round 58. And then you branch out to alternate timelines. So like the next two options are level 62 and level 68. Obviously, I'm probably going to want to swing the 62 one to start. And go from there. So I should be able to, after conquering that, just walk over to the next tier. All right, so that's, I mean, a rough look at uh, the mono monolithing and timelines. Like I said, if you played Path of Exile before, it's kind of similar to mapping, and, you know, the, as far as an end game idea, um, where you have to, you know, work through different things. Obviously, you don't have to find the maps; they're just kind of spider webbed out there, and. Uh, yeah, you can go from there. But sorry, Herman didn't work out today. I don't know what's going on with their their characters. Um, probably gonna try again uh, sometime this coming week. Uh, keep posted on. I'll post something on Facebook. Probably not tomorrow. Um, maybe Monday, or Monday or Tuesday, one of those days, and uh, we'll go from there. But thanks for sticking around. I'm uh, I'm gonna go for now, and we will see you next week. Hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend. Talk to you soon.